Hey, how's it going today? And I'm going to show you how to create a basic camera pond. What I'm trying to do is figure out ways of moving around the camera without a lot of drama in Unreal Engine. I just want to be able to have a camera and go where I want with it. I don't want to have to put down rails or tripods or anything like that. And so that's kind of what I'm working toward. So this video is just showing you how to create a basic camera pond which means that you can film with the take recorder with it. So here's what we do is we hit play and we have this movement here where I can, this would, this would be film, filmable, what you're seeing right here. So I just wanted to do like a, and with this camera I could pan like this. It might be, a, I might have to try to make it smoother. I might have to put in a control for that. But if I just want to come in straight, this will be a shot. That could be my shot right there. Or if I wanted to come over this way and get a different angle, I could come in like this. It's nice and smooth and I don't have to do any additional work. So I'll show you how to do this in just a minute. and. This is a work in progress, so there are still some things I'm working out, but this is a prototype that works. Okay, we're back, and for this we're going to go launch. I'm on a new computer, so it's actually taking longer for things to load in because it has to compile the shaders. So for this we're just going to go into the simulation, and I'm going to call this Pawn 1 and Create. And I wish I could say that I woke up in the morning and just knew how to do all this right away. But actually what I'm showing you is a culmination of several months of study. And what's happening is, you know, I'll learn one thing and then I'll find out like, oh, there's that little trick. And then a couple months later, I'll figure out, oh, I didn't know that could do that. And so what's happening over time is I'm starting to connect the dots and see, oh, I could do this and I do that. That's how this is coming together because there's no tutorial I've watched that shows how to do this. This is something that I think is good for you because you guys and gals, because you're learning things that I don't know that you're necessarily going to find them anywhere else. So I guess that's my, what I hope is the value of these tutorials for you is that you're getting things that you're not getting anywhere else. So anyway, enough of that. Here we are in the simulation template and I did a tutorial about this already and I really like this template quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is there's some things we need to do. And so this reminds me kind of on Star Wars where Anakin Skywalker is building a hovercraft or something. And he goes and he has to hijack all the parts. That's kind of what this is. So we're going to go add features. And first we're going to get this vehicle. And the only reason we're getting this is just to film it. We're not going to animate it. So I just want it as a prop. But to bring this into your scene, you do have to enable the Chaos plugin, even if you're just going to bring it in unanimated. So, and that requires a restart, so we have to restart on this. So now it's restarting, and here we go. We will wait for it to come back in. So I had a joke. I was telling someone the other day that the physics engine is called Chaos, and I said, well, that's appropriate because that literally what it causes in the game. <laughs> It causes chaos, a little bit of chaos on, on its own. So we're here, I have to remember this myself, we're here on the vehicle template blueprint folder level. So sometimes I get lost where I am. Okay, and that's where we're going to put our pawn in. So then the next thing we need to do is we need to go get a first person. So we're going to go add this one. And we need to hijack some parts out of that thing. So all we need this for is just some parts. So I'm just going to double click into this and let's make this big. And th what we're going to hijack is this, all these parts right there. So we'll hit control C and put that away into our clipboard. I guess that's where it goes. And now we'll let's go back onto our vehicle blueprint level here. Right. And Let's go into the sports car level right here. Okay, and then I'm going to now create the camera pawn. So I can't use an actor and I can't use a pawn is what I discovered. I have to go into the blueprint class here 
and I'm not I can't use an actor and I can't use a pawn. The one that's going to make my life the easiest is this one because it has a movement component. So we're going to go ahead and click that and we're going to name this BP underscore camera pawn just like that. It looks like the last airbender for some reason. So we're going to click onto this and we just have a couple things to do. Now we're going to just get rid of this and then we'll hit control V to copy in that stuff from the first person template. And it's going to come in without error and it's going to be able to access all the input actions and mapping that are in the first person template. So we don't have to do anything. It's really simple. So this is what's going to give us movement for our camera. All movement except for this one and I haven't figured out why I don't have pitch yet. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a city camera here so we might as well get the nicest camera we can get here and that's all we have to do for that and this will be our eyes. So I did a tutorial about what is a pawn and in there it shows you that one thing you can do is give it the ability to see. So that's what we've done is we've taken basically a character is a form of a pawn with movement and we've just given it the ability to see with the camera. But then by adding this from the first person template we have the ability to move. Almost. We still have a couple more things to do. So at this point I can actually close this and I don't believe we have to come back in there. So there's our BP. Let's go ahead and just save all for right now if you ever see an asterisk so we've got our BP camera upon and we can just actually just go ahead and drag it into the scene and it's right there and over here you can see if I hit the space bar I can rotate it and we can see what it sees now with the chaos in engine enabled I can just drag this car onto the scene and like I said this is strictly a prop this is not for animating although I am going to be doing a tutorial on how to animate this. So I have an idea for a short film and I need this car moving along with the, some other characters so that's what I'm working on right now. And over here on the camera you can kind of see the angle that we got on, on it here. So now we can't, if I were to hit play we wouldn't have any functionality. Now if you look at this from a filmmaking standpoint that's a pretty cool shot right there. That's a damn cool shot. So there's one more thing we got to do before to make this work and then I'll almost close to wrap this up is we're going to right click and we're going to go to blueprint class and we're going to create a game mode base and I was always confused about what the game mode was I don't know why but basically it's just a collection of classes and assets that governs your game so basically you can think of it as a kind of a, a coordinator of rules and governing rules and structures for your game. So we're going to customize this and we're going to call this camera pawn mode just like that. And then if we click into it over here is like what I'm saying all the classes that it's controlling. It's organizing all these into one asset so all these things will apply to our game. These basic things that we need but what we need to change is the default pawn class and we're going to change it to our BP camera pawn. That's very important. And we'll go with that and that's all we need to do here. Then all we have to do is go into world settings and under the game mode override switch it to our camera pawn mode. And what should happen now is I should be able to hit play and now I have the movement. So th this is the camera pond moving right now. And you can see what I can do is I can get my shot, I think. Because I haven't tested it in 5.2 yet. So you're seeing what I'm seeing for the first time right now. So this would be, let's say you want a camera shot. I could come over here, get a different angle. That's what I'm saying about having the freedom of movement with the camera. I don't want to have to put down rails. I just want to move like this and just get my shot. <laughs> So let's see if I can do that real quick. Okay, so we're going to come up to Window. Well, we have, if this isn't open, you just go to Windows, Cinematics, and go to Take Recorder. And then we need a source, which is going to be our player, which is our pawn. And then once that, we can hit Play. It's going to give us 
that. We're live there. And then I hit record. And let me just see if I can get a couple shots out of here. So, I don't know. This is, I'm just recording all this, even though I'll edit this out later in my video editing software. But let's say I just want to get a, a shot coming at the car from this angle. So I'm just backing up right now. And then I'm just going forward toward the car. This is all, the only shot I wanted, just a shot like this. I was kind of moving the mouse there, so let me come back. So I guess you got to try to hold your mouse or not even, once you got your shot, just hit the keyboard because you don't want to record any extraneous movement. And let's say cut right there, okay? So I'll hit escape. And I just did a tutorial about recording vehicles with the take recorder. So let's see if this will work. So what we do is we'll come in here and we'll go to cinematics. We'll come in here to takes. We'll double click there and we'll double click this. And it looks like it recorded it, but that can me that doesn't mean it's going to render out. So I haven't tested that. But let's just hit play and see what recorded. Yeah, it looks like it recorded everything. But I know from experience that what you see is not necessarily what you're going to get. <laughs> so let's see what happens. I'm not going to... Yeah, this is all I wanted. This is what started this whole thing. Okay, fantastic. Okay, that's great. Okay, so I know I got what I wanted. So I'm just going to hit pause there. Now the only question is, will it render out? I'm just going to click up here. I, I don't, it doesn't really matter where it goes. You can set your folder, I turn off, use compression, and let's see if I go capture movie. Now here's a, a, a pro tip, a trick that I learned. Like I said, this has been a, over months of making trial and errors. Do not save it. I learned that. I did a bit, video just about this. Do not save. And then it, look, it recorded it. And then you're good to go. I do appreciate you subscribing and hanging with me on this journey, and I guarantee you that over the next three to four months, if you stick around, you're going to learn a lot of things that nobody else is really showing you how to do. So take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.